Hello, my name is Mark Trotter and I am your child Spanish One teacher. This year marks my 29th year teaching Spanish One. I love teaching Spanish. I love working with high school students. The goal of Spanish One is to enable students to develop listening, speaking, writing, reading, and comprehension skills according to the Spanish One level. During Spanish One, Students will learn to describe themselves, their families, their friends, people in general. They will learn to write and talk about their favorite foods, clothing, activities, classes. Students will learn to talk about the things they like to do, the things they don't like to do. They will learn to express their opinions, their preferences. They will learn to talk about people and places they know. They will learn about Hispanic culture. They'll learn about celebrations, holidays, food, music, dances, customs. We will read stories. We will do writing assignments and we will practice speaking in a variety of different situations in the classroom every day. We will watch video segments. In short, the kids will be in the Spanish mode every day in class. Parents often want to know about the grading policy and that can be found on the classroom expectation syllabus that you signed. But I do want to touch on a couple things. First and foremost is class participation. Students have to be in class in participating to really learn the language. Um, they need that interaction with me, interaction with other students. So I pretty much demand that students interact. They have to talk. They have to work in pairs. They have to work in groups. They have to work in whole class activities. So class participation is a big, big deal in my classroom, okay? Um, it's not really, it's a non-negotiable. It has to happen, all right? So your child is expected to participate in classroom discussions. They are expected to participate with their partner. They are expected to participate in whole class walk, room act, walk around activities. And they're expected to be attentive, listening and taking notes when I'm talking. Every so often I'll notice that a young man or a young lady is doing their physics homework or their science homework or their math homework and that's not okay. All right, I need them to be actively focused and participating in what we are doing in class at all times. Another thing that's really important is class assignments. They're called class assignments because they need to be done in class, all right? Now, if a kid's absent, I understand that. It'll be attached to the agenda. They can pull it up from home, but class time is a very important time for kids to be learning. So you'll notice on my syllabus, 25% of their grade this year will be based on classroom assignments, okay? So they've got to be getting their work done in class and they got to be doing it right. You know, students have asked me before, parents have asked me before, you know, do you grade this stuff? I grade everything. Anything I have the kids do and turn in, I will grade and I expect it to be done well and it's given a grade. So class assignments, class participation, class, being in class and being productive in class is a big, big, big deal, all right? Because it's the classwork and the interactive participation that's taking place that's gonna lead to the assessments. So when kids struggle on assessments, we go back and look, typically a lot of absences, not doing their work, not participating. So anyway, enough said there. Uh, need kids in class, participating, being active, uh, an active learner at all times, okay? Um, Zangle, grades. Uh, grades typically are put in every week. Um, starting next week, you will see grades going in on a regular basis. Nothing's been put in yet. Uh, we're still building. We'll start testing next week. We've got our first big unit test coming up this next week. But... Uh, 
You can look at Zangle almost any time and you will see that their grades are updated and in current. All right, so just keep an eye on Zangle on a regular basis. Okay. Um, Wednesdays at lunch, I am in my classroom to help the students if they need office hours. To be very honest with you, I'm in my classroom almost every day at lunch. Um, I'm more than willing to help a kid out. Uh, they're welcome to come in here during my lunchtime and, and just get some extra help with me. Um, lastly, I, I think the last thing I would share with you is that I can be contacted at any time at marktrotter at cusd.com. Um, I will get back to you almost always that very day. Um, your emails come up on my phone. Doesn't mean I'm going to answer them right away but I do get my emails immediately. I go through them every day and I will respond to you. Um, that's about it. Um, I probably said too much. I tend to be long winded, but just know that uh, your kids are in good hands. Love doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm excited about an opportunity for another school year and another chance to teach kids the beautiful language of Spanish. Um, that's it. Thanks.